Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Saturday, in the 27th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Basa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Please be seated. Lord, you are near to us, and all your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before the dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom of God be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord, have, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established men to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children, for I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among those, the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom, who knows your works, and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes, and what is conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens, 
and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me, that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord remains faithful to His promise forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and to the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, Scripture confined all things under the power of sin, that through faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under law, confined for the faith that was to be revealed. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian. For through faith, you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory, glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, His judgments prevail. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Please stand. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you, and the breast at which you nursed. 
And Jesus replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kahapon, ipinagdiwang natin ang piyesta ng Santo Rosario. Ang buong buwan ng Oktobre ay buwan ng Santo Rosario. Ang Santo Rosario ay dasal ng mga taong humahawak sa kamay ni Jesus at ni Maria. Ang Santo Rosario ay dasal ng mga taong kumakapit sa Diyos. Ang Santo Rosario ay dasal ng mga taong hindi bumibitaw sa Diyos. Ang Santo Rosario ay dasal ng mga taong hindi nakakalimot sa Diyos. At dahil hindi siya nakakalimot, hindi sila nawawalan ng pag-asa. Sapagkat lagi nilang naalaala ang kabutihan na ginawa ng Diyos sa kanila. Tulad ni Maria, lagi nilang sinasabi, The Almighty has done great things for me. Napakabait ng Diyos sa akin. Napakabuti niya. Kasi naalaala nila ang lahat ng kabutihan na ginawa ng Diyos sa kanila. Hindi sila pinabayaan ng Diyos. Ang dami nilang pinagdaanan, ang dami nilang nalampasan, naroon ng Diyos sa buhay nila. Parang tayo rin, lingunin natin yung buhay natin. Ang dami natin pinagdaanan, ating nalampasan. Baha, lindol, bagyo, sunog, pagputok ng bulkan, dito pa rin tayo. Nagkasakit, naksidente, nagka-COVID, na-quarantine, na-lockdown, na-hospital. Ito pa rin tayo. Bumagsak ang negosyo, nakandalugi-lugi, nakahirap-hirap, nakanda utang-utang na. Dito pa rin tayo. Binuli, pinagtawanan, ginawan ng kwento, pinagbintangan ng hindi totoo. Dito pa rin tayo. Iniwan ng mahal sa buhay. Pinagtaksilan, pinagpalit sa iba. Nilayasan ng sabi na loves na loves daw siya. Masakit. Pero dito pa rin tayo. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo pinabayaan ng Diyos. Kung lingunin natin yung ating buhay, maraming mga hapis. Malungkot, mahirap. Ngunit nalampasan natin, ang hapis ay naging tuha. At ang tuha ay naging liwanag. At ang liwanag ay naging luwalhati. Hindi ba eto ang mga misteryo ng Santo Rosario? Eto ang nangyari sa buhay ni Jesus at ni Maria. At eto rin ang nangyayari sa ating mga buhay. Ibig sabihin, ang Rosario ay dasal ng ating buhay. Tulad ng dasal ng buhay ni Jesus at ni Maria. Alam nyo, kung may isang simpleng aral na tinuturo ang pagdadasal ng Santo Rosario ay ito. May Diyos sa mundong ito at hindi niya tayo pinapabayaan. Yan ang simpleng aral ng Santo Rosario. May Diyos dito sa mundo at hindi niya tayo pinapabayaan. Ang ating buhay sa mundo ay parang paglalakbay, parang paglalakad yan, parang prosesyon eh. Di ba pag sumama kayo sa prosesyon, dalawa yung hawak ninyo. Isang kamay, nakasinding kandila. Sa isang kamay, ang Santo Rosario. Ang nakasinding kandila, nagbibigay ng liwanag sa ating daraanan. Ang Santo Rosario, ang ating sandata upang labanan ang kampon ng kadiliman. Ang Santo Rosario, buhay ni Jesus. Buhay ni Maria at buhay din natin. Ang Santo Rosario, dasal na Jesus, 
Dasal ni Maria at dasal din natin. Ang Santo Rosario, buhay na dasal at dasal ng ating buhay. Dasalin natin at isa buhay natin ang Santo Rosario. Sitayo po tayo. Inspired by Mary's faith and courage, we bring our needs before God the Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That under the patronage of Mary, the leaders of the church may bring God's people closer to Christ by their preaching and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may welcome the Word of God into our hearts and respond to it with generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That following the example of Mary, mothers may make their homes dwelling places of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may look with compassion on the sick with the help of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our brothers and ministry at Rumah Biara Santo Dominicus and Rumah Santo Thomas Aquino in Indonesia, St. Dominic in Sri Lanka, St. Antoninus in General Santos and Davao, Kamigin and Kalayan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, ye hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, ye hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy the eternal happiness in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, ye hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your Son. Help us through her intercession that we may treasure the memory of your Son's death and resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we honor the memory of the Mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent us, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace peace, peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Son of the Blessed Virgin Mary. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us celebrate with great devotion this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May she intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the Yotis word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us celebrate, celebrate with great devotion this day in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May she intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech the Lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo sa misang ito. At sa ating pagdadasal ng Santo Rosario, tandaan natin, may Diyos dito sa mundo at hindi niya tayo pinapabayaan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, yung ngayon po dasal po para sa mga may sakit, yung mga may sakit po na naririto po ngayon, at kahit wala po rito, pero naalaala po natin sila. At maring ang kanilang sakit o karamdaman ay mas maluba kaysa sa atin, Pagdasal po natin sila, marahan po natin banggitin ang kanilang mga pangalan. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our sickness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Ngayon po, yung may mga pabindisyonan po, mangyari po lamang na pakitaas lang po ng mga pabindisyonan po ninyo at pag na po kayong umalis sa inyong mga kinaroroonan. Kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may this rosaries, candles, images, oils, copulas, crucifixes, prayer books, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>